Hey, uh, Feynman, one of the things that uh, that we're very passionate about at GDS is open source. And um, we believe that for innovation, for driving innovation, as well as for vendor neutrality, it's an important thing. And Mark Zuckerberg just today announced that he's going to open source all his stuff when it comes. Talk to me a little bit about how you view open source, both at the model level and at the data stack level. How do you see it uh, being uh, powerful in our industry, and uh, and what are what are people what should people be uh, looking at from a practitioner point of view when they when they think about open source versus closed models? Uh, yeah, man, kind of real interesting question. Um, I, I mean, I think from the software side, look, we, I've benefited so much from open source. Um, like if it wasn't for like open search, open telemetry, Linux, um, like countless numbers of Apache and MIT license projects, like, you know, I wouldn't be able to build like most of the work that I've done in my career. So um, I'm like, you know, immeasurably grateful for it. Um, and I think that you should prefer it unless you have a very good reason, unless a vendor gives you something that you absolutely can't live with, but understand that you're, you're paying for the lock-in. And if the vendor raises their premium, you're, you're stuck there. Yeah. Um, this is especially true when it comes to AI models. Um, with these AI models, uh, LLMs in particular, switch L they're not as interchangeable as, say, a database provider because the interface is not standardized. Asking Anthropic to do something will produce different results than asking OpenAI to do it. So you really don't have an equivalent good um, to exchange between here. 